Uh, what's your thoughts on the UK property market? Right. So on the UK property market, we're stuck in a position where there's been no new design on the UK property market. The property market is standard. You put down a deposit. Sorry, you go to a bank or a, more, or a building society. They approve your loan. You put down your 5%, 25%, 30%. And based on your credit criteria and the value of the property, they lend you the money. Nothing's changed. However, we've got ourselves into a little bit of a crisis. And the reason being, for all those viewers who have not are up to date, I'm sure they are in the UK, but this applies globally. The UK is different to the US. There's no 30-year fixed mortgages in the UK. The maximum you can get is five years, maybe 10 years. Sometimes a 10-year fix came out. However, all of those products have been pulled and keep being changed because the lenders have to go to the money markets and borrow the money. The outlook in the UK at the moment is there'll be another interest rate rise by the MPC, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, who I'm not a fan of, will be increasing rates by 25 basis points. It's in the price. It might not, but it's 70% chance, 80% chance he will. That has already been priced in to mortgage products. The problem with the UK as follows. You've had huge amounts of buying, especially in the last two to three years, not enough inventory since the pandemic because there have been a lot of labor shortages. And therefore, you've got a lot of high mortgages. Mortgages in the UK are not 50, 60,000 pounds where they used to be 20 years ago. They're now three, four, 500,000 pounds. Based on the, the present mortgage size, then people are now renewing their mortgages, not at 1.59%, not at 1.99%, at 6.4, 6 6.5, 6.6%. That's on the residential side. Then you've got the buy-to-let side, which a lot of people have gone in to uh, rent out properties. It's now not financially, not economical to rent out the property based on a 65 or 7% interest rate plus all of the other costs, whereby the return on that property would be 5 or 6%. So the overall residential UK property is is ready and suspect for a downturn. Now, that downturn could either be light, depending on the inventory, or could be significant. All right? I'm not talking about all hell is going to break loose, but there is going to be more and more properties coming on the market, either to rent out or for sale, because homeowners will become distressed and won't be able to support their mortgages.